Hey guys, this is Spencer from destructoid.com. This is Dale North, Corgi King, also Corgi from destructoid.com. What's up? And we're gonna talk about the, the Toast Edition 2DS the business. The Toast Edition, yes. fresh out of the toaster. Uh, that NES toaster that we all love so much has yes. finally been put to use in Nintendo headquarters to make a surprisingly good system. So, I don't know, It's a, they already had a good system. Now it's a different form factor, a neat form factor. I like it. So when it was announced, I was confused and upset. I was scared. And I was very scared. I thought it was a joke at first, because uh, I was in the car when it was announced, and so I just read the tweets, I'm like, 2DS, like, it's not, I legitimately thought it was April Fool's Day. No, no, I really yeah. did too. So it's a, like, big square DS, right. or 3DS, that does not display in 3D, right. but it plays 3DS games, yep. which is a very weird premise for a system. You know, they want to get these out there. Uh, there's a lot of kids that want to play Pokemon is, I mean, people are already calling it the Pokemon system. You don't need 3D. Uh, there's still parents that are scared that 3D will blow their kids' eyes out. Uh, so, and you know, and most of us, I, I guess I'm generalizing or whatever, but I would say most people, I'm like looking at 3DSs right now, no one has their 3DS sliders on. Oh yeah, no. So, eh. Like I have, I have had 3DS since launch and I've had it on for maybe half hour total. I like played the, the two 3D. games with the 3D. Two games? Yeah. See, I like my 3DS. It's just like, I love my that 3DS. 3D is not useful to me, so. So, there's yeah. nothing There's nothing bad about this new system. In fact, uh, it, when you finally hold the, when we check it out, the, the form factor is really neat. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's quite a bit smaller than you think it would be. Uh, it's definitely lighter, but it feels really rugged. It's for the Game Boy Micro crowd. Like, it's, they it moved is. the controls up a little bit. It feels good. The circle pad feels way better. Yes. Which is good because the circle pad originally was like a hot piece of garbage. Right. Like, I don't understand how that was a good idea. It, but it laughs at you every time you put your thumb on it. Yes. It, it, I don't get it. But that's like now it feels good. Yep. And all this, the screens are super crisp. They're like the same screens from the, the regular 3DS. But somehow they look better sitting on this kind of piece of toast. Yeah. And they're, yeah. Not, they're not angled and it doesn't have like the glossy finish from right. the 3DS. So it's just very square. The one, my one like gumption with this thing is that the shoulder buttons yeah. are not good. I don't hate the shoulder buttons, but if there's one thing that you had to pick out, it's that they're they're pretty far up. Uh, if you're holding the game system where your thumbs are on the buttons and D-pad, like then you're like, uh, you have the big ass hands, so you could yeah. actually probably get up there. Me, I feel like I have to reposition to grab them. Which is confusing, because it's a system for kids. Right. Like, it's launching on the same day as, as Pokemon X and Y for 130, I believe. Yeah. So it's, it's straight up, like, yo, kids, Buy a 3DS. Here Tell you mom go. to buy your 3DS. Yeah, and so I don't understand why kids who are notorious for having small hands can somehow reach because it's like a like a three inch like stretch in order to get up to those shoulder buttons. But all in all, I'm pretty stoked. Like I'm, I'm digging it. Uh, a few have complained that it's not stereo. Uh, you get some headphones, dog. You if know. you're like if you're worried about stereo like on your 3DS, you are probably playing not doing the right. wrong system. Like it's a handheld system, yeah. so it's not really. Otherwise, for that, it's pretty sharp. I was surprised. honestly surprised. Yeah. I came in thinking this is a terrible gimmick. I want. I, I came, came in out, wanting to mock it. Yes, and I came out saying I will probably buy one of these right. despite you did, having a 3DS. You did, you tried the pocket test though, so this is a big deal for some people. Yes. You, you put it in front of your pocket and it was no dice. Uh, uh, well, I, I could probably wedge it in there, but my pockets are giant. Maybe if you wear like Jinko jeans or like cargo shorts. Super maybe. bro, like cargo shorts. Uh, maybe, you could, yeah. but and it's And you'll look not, like an asshole with a, you know, it'll look like you have a piece of toast in your pocket. So. Yeah, I want to take the, like, the toaster NES and put this in it. Yeah. And maybe just set that there and that'll be my holding stand. I, you know, to be fair though, I will say that if you've ever rocked like uh, uh, what was it, Game Boy Advance? Yeah. The thickness is about the same, and while it's not as tall, it, it's close. Yeah, it's it's very. It feels like a, a system that would have been designed from the same team that designed all the systems like eight years ago. For sure. Which in but in like the best way. Right. So it's it's very slick. It's very cool. I'm good with that. So in summation, thumbs up on the on the 2DS. Yeah, thumbs up for sure. Thumbs up. Yeah. All right. So that's the 2DS. It's coming out. October, that's yeah, the thing. Yes. You can get that in just a few weeks. But for the rest of all your PAX news, stay here. Stay at Destructoid. We love you.